What's going on, internet? <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, so what we're gonna do today? So what I'm thinking is, um, no, so I'm not been thinking it. We've been. Okay. So what we're gonna do today? We've been sent from a friend of ours, at Tarmac Sports. We go back quite a way from when I had my old 350Z picture somewhere around here. And what he's said to us is that he's got these new short shifters in for the 370. Now I kind of looked around the internet and stuff, and not many people have really done anything with the short shifter for the 370. I said, what's the point? He said the vibration will go away from the gear, which is kind of nice in traffic. I always sit there and it's rallying its tits off, so that's always gonna be good. And you know, performance aftermarket parts are always better than standard, in my opinion. Plus, it's a short shifter. I mean, that sounds cool. I don't know if it'll make a difference with my morning commute, but I'm definitely gonna find out. So we spoke to Chris, I said, let's go for it. Let's just send me it. I paid for it, but he sent me it anyway, which is really good. So let's take a look at it. Let's fit a short shifter. First, we need to unbox it. Okay, so that was the unboxing. Pretty straightforward. We kind of, I don't personally know what the bits do. Jamie definitely does. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna dismantle the center console. So like popping out the center trim and all that stuff, probably jump cuts. So let's go ahead and crack on. Okay, so one thing I want to mention is this kit doesn't come with an instructions manual. Um, the one that we found, I can't remember where we found it, but it said remove the entire center console and definitely didn't want to remove the full center console because I just don't, can't be asked with it neither. Good Jamie. So as you've just seen, you can sort of like wiggle it, give it some leverage and it will pop out. So to save you guys five minutes, maybe think about doing that. So that's where we are now. So we've removed the center console, the bolts surrounding that's hold everything in place. We've got to the shifter, the standard OEM shifter, and it's getting held in underneath the car somehow. So we're gonna go ahead, jack the car up, get underneath and see what's holding it in. This time I used a jack mate on my own, I dinted the door <laughs> on my 350. Dropped the jack at me, ba bang. <laughs> where do I put it? I don't know where it is. Woo! Okay, so every single time we seem to do the car outside, this guy comes out with us. So hi beams. So this is my little dog beamer. <laughs> See you guys in there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is leave a clue up here. We couldn't get under the car with the camera because our jack doesn't go high enough. So what we're gonna do is, this is the iPhone clip somewhere up here, like this side, I don't know yet. And uh, 12 milli, unscrew it all. And then what you're gonna find is after you get all that part out, your gear shifter is gonna just be able to freely be moved inside the cabin. So then all you need to do is lift it out and we can get on with the short shifter. What we've done is we, we don't have a vice. I advise you use a vice and we need to remove the sort of clear plastic surround. So what we've done is improvised sticking it between two bins and we're gonna give it a little push. So if this works, I'll be surprised. If it doesn't work, you know, back to drawing boards. And a little bit of advice, don't break the plastic piece because you definitely do need it. And if you don't, you're gonna be struggling to find another bit. So go careful, try not to bodge it like we did, but we had no choice. You need to, so fair enough we bodged that thing. Some people are gonna moan about it, but you do what you need to do just to get things done. Next step is the plastic piece we've just taken off. We need to grease it. Ideally, you wanna use your white grease that comes standard, you know, when you take your assembly out, you'll have it all over your hands. Do you have anything in the box that's like a grease pack or anything? So we're using copper grease, it'll do the job. So yeah, let's carry on. Okay, so everything's back in the car now, so that's the short shifter initially done. Uh, so what we're doing now is we've gone back under the car, there's the single bolt we took out before, we need to put that back on, and then carry on. You need a better camera. That's kind of it now, so we've been underneath, bolt's gone back in, rubber boot's gone over, so now it's just a bit of clean up outside and then finish off inside the car, so let's get on with it.
Okay, so pro and con time. Is the short shifter worth buying? Number one, the price point. This thing is only 80 something quid. In my opinion, that's really cheap. If you can go on eBay and set short shifter 370Z, you're gonna find a really expensive version and a dare cheap version. I would stay clear because this thing was only 80 quid and it feels so solid and perfect. Number two, the delivery time. It arrived next day. Tarmac let me know when it was getting dispatched, when it got delivered, who was delivering it. These things, these matter, so I like to know that. So moving on to a con. The kit doesn't come with instructions. So if you're a competent mechanic, go ahead. You're gonna probably just you know, breeze through this. I had no idea. I had Jamie here with me. Luckily, he is a competent mechanic. He was doing things that I thought were impossible. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try and do this on my own without the instructions. So that would be a con. The shifter is definitely dramatically changed in time to shift into gears. And it's fun. It's, uh, you know, you're driving along, it makes you feel like you're in a race car. So that's, that's a positive pro to me. Overall, I'm gonna say this kit, if you are even thinking about it, hopefully this video will have helped and it is definitely worth buying. For Tarmac Sports, you know, the overall experience was just perfect. So the competition, how do you win? How do you enter? So all you need to do is like or dislike the video. If you think it's Ted, don't like the video because I need to know if you don't want to see things like this, I'd rather change the channel around to do some things that you guys want to watch. Two, share this video on whatever platform you like, Google, Facebook, Twitter, I don't really give a shit. As long as you share it, like Tarmac Sports on Facebook too. I'll leave a link for him down below. So a big thank you again to Chris who sorted me out from Tarmac. And then subscribe to the channel. And that's all you need to do. Next week we're going to be doing how to on an iPad build, we've got a GTR starter button, how to install that. Really easy things that can change your experience of the 370. So if you want to win that £10 gift voucher, you just like, subscribe, share and you're just going to be entered into it. Not many people watch this video so um, you're going to probably be in for a good chance of winning it and where's the harm in it? So I think that means one last thing, do we think it's worth buying or not? Absolutely, 100% worth getting. Check them out on Facebook. <laughs>